on this emergency episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the actually broken Core 45 with the aftermarket part, a Kimbo. Let's go test it out. So I don't know what's going on with the Core 45, but this is the second time recently that something's messed up with it and it's bad. And when I say it's bad, it's really bad. Just take a look at this. It doesn't even have the whole top of the gun. This is not supposed to be a thing that you can do, but right now there is currently a bug where you can take the Core 45 with its aftermarket part and actually have it akimbo. Now, in the interest of protecting some PvP modes, I won't be showing you how to do this, but it's not that hard to find. I'm just simply here to test this out against some zombies, you know, not put any actual players in the, in the sights of these pistols. Because if you don't already know, the Core 45's aftermarket part has a binary trigger, which lets you shoot a bullet every time you pull and release the trigger. And now that we have two of them, our fire rate is gonna be absolutely insane. And since you're really not meant to have these, I think the damage is about to be busted. So here's some tier one zombies, even with armor, and we're absolutely shredding through them. No upgrades, no pack-a-punch, no nothing. Now let's take a first spin against some tier two zombies and a hellhound absolutely obliterating them you know might have to reload every now and then but so far looking like it can still handle some tier two zombies with ease and let's see how this is doing against some tier three zombies without any upgrades at all here's a fully armored zombie let's start laying into them oh it's doing some damage let's see if we can get the armor broken hold on a little decoy and we're back to it can we get it broken oh not looking like it but we are doing damage it's not killing them, at least not yet, but I still have high hopes for these. Uh, as for the servers, don't got high hopes for that. And don't have high hopes for us hanging out of this self revive. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get out of here. Things are getting bad quick. But now that we've seen them unpack a punch and unupgrade in all three tiers, let's go ahead and change that. Get them to pack three, get them to legendary, throw on our MAGA holding. Don't really care about the reload a whole lot. And we'll throw on our perks and our golden armor plates. And after fully pack a punching them, it looks like we only have 560 bullets on these. And it does say that we're missing an attachment slot. I just don't think it knows that there's supposed to be anything on here. And actually, the top of our gun is back. Did pack a punching reset him? Hold on. No, I don't think so. Because it's still shooting it every time I, I pull and release the trigger. But I just didn't know what to do for the gun model. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this against a tier two HVT. All right, Disciple, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we got to test these out somehow. How are these doing? Ooh, look, we already did so much damage to him and we didn't even break his mask yet. He's already gone. These are kind of gross. There is absolutely no way I'm stepping into multiplayer or war zone until these bad boys are fixed. Because I'm not going to be getting the treatment that this disciple is. I ain't stepping into that arena. That ain't happening. Now let's go ahead and take out this last HVT before we go into tier three. Just so we have enough money to get all of our perks and any self revives that we might need. Oh, we got one trick. Let's go. That's the most Mickey Mouse one trick camo I've ever seen. And since tier three is a bit packed at the moment, uh, let's go ahead and put the Stormcaller out of his misery. And where are you hiding at? I know I saw you. You can't hide forever. Oh, there he is. Let's hit a little Aether Shroud and get to lighten him up. Can we get that mass broken? Not looking like it quite yet. We did break his posture though. And we're doing some nice damage against these zombies in here. Usually the zombies inside of the disciples or the, the storm callers, like underneath his buffs, they just have an insane amount of health and we're still able to take them out. But what we aren't able to do is uh, keep enough ammo to take them out. That seems to be the one issue with this gun, but nothing the Scorcher can't fix. And we're fully stocked again. Where are you at? Come here, buddy. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. No healing. Go to the decoy. Don't strike me with lightning either. That's not fair. Let's see how we're doing up close and personal. Oh, it's actually not doing as much to him as I, I thought it would. He's kind of eating these. Taking him right on the chin. Maybe he's got a specific uh, sturdiness against these pistols. The zombies, however, do not. And we are out of ammo again. Okay. You know what? Maybe these are balanced. Keep them in zombies. Take them out of everything else. That seems fair. Oh, Stormcaller. What are you doing outside the storm? You're not supposed to be here. Get back in there. And stop healing, asshole. I'm just, he's looking me dead in the eyes and healing because he knows he's putting up a fight. I was not expecting him to stay alive this long. All right, I guess attempt number three. Let's do this one more time. Maybe I was just missing too many shots. Maybe that's the, the issue here. Or maybe he disabled my gun somehow. I don't know. There, there's some tomfoolery going on here. I don't like it. I'm supposed to be the one with the unfair advantage right now. We already got him back down to half health after he healed, but uh, we're already back down to no ammo. All right, you ain't getting away that easy. I'm done with you. It's time for you to go. 
I better not run out of ammo again before you're dead. Why don't you fly away? You stay right here. There's no escape from this. Oh, we might run out of ammo, but we stopped them from healing. Can we get them here before we're out? No. This is ridiculous, dude. We're being edged by these guns. I'm being dropped no ammo. There's a shortage. All right, very funny, Stormcaller. Ha ha, you know, the joke's on me. I come in here with the busted guns, and you come in here with enough health to outlast my ammo. That's fine. You know, that's all right. And we're gonna go down here. Guess what? I can use these on the ground. See if I care. See if I back up enough to hit you in the head, and you're gone. Little bitch. Give me that skull. We spent way, way too long fighting them. Maybe tier three's opened up by now. I feel like that fight with the Stormcaller kind of put these in a bad light. Because in a world where zombies drop ammo, these things don't have to worry about running out of them. We can just spray things down to our heart's content. But out there in that, that Stormcaller storm, we're, we're meant to be starved for ammo. That's how it's designed. But I have a feeling these are going to go really well in the unstable rift. And after circling tier three like a vulture for the last 10 minutes, we finally got a bounty. Please be an Omega Abomination. Let's go. Oh, I've been waiting for this, pal. Ain't no way you're going to weasel your way out of this like the Disciple tried to do. You're no storm caller. You're going to get your ass beat fair and square. At least as fair as these guns can get. That's already a face gone. And there's going to be plenty of zombies here for me to take out and recover my ammo. You ain't got no hope. It's over for you, buddy. Just open up and let's, let's just get through this. Don't make me go on the roof. I'll go on the roof. All right, fine. You want to cooperate? I'll make you cooperate. Go ahead. Laser. Now. I demand it. Thank you. And that should be another face gone. Right about here. Go for it. Lose it. Move it or lose it. Damn, okay. All right, there it is. Let me worry for a second. Now just do one more and we should be good. Let's get you out of here. You know, let's get you home. There you go, buddy. What is this? What's this hellhound doing? What the dog doing? Maybe they're here to deliver me ammo. Uh, it's looking like we're gonna need it. I had to say the thing about ammo, huh? All right, now we got some ammo back. Let's uh, let's get back to where we were, shall we? Go ahead, one more. There you go, buddy. Thanks for cooperating. I appreciate it. You know I do, but we gotta put you to sleep. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, it's time for you to go night night. I got 14 bullets again. This is a never-ending cycle. Holy shit! Hit him with a nice little laser. Max ammo, double points. That works. If we can just get enough ammo to finish this. That'll be perfect. All right, that should be enough ammo. Go ahead, laser. Or actually, you don't even need to do it. Yeah, run at me. Do whatever you want. I don't care. You're dead. Night, night, buddy. Give me all them points and all of these. Now, you can see the damage potential there. Like, there's definitely more weapons out there that actually do better than this and don't run out of ammo as quick, but the potential is there. These could be the first bullet weapons to actually make it through the unstable rift without the help of a wonder weapon. I will have my scorcher on me, but I will not use it unless I really have to. And speaking of having to use it, we're gonna have to start flying around this map and start looking for those obelisks. Oh, and one more abomination. You know what? We're right here by this ammo crate. Might as well do it. Give it another spin against a, a dude with a little less health and a little less uh, brain cells, it seems like. One face down, two to go. And this should be two faces right about here. Thank you. you got one more for me. There you go. Are these 100 bullets enough to do it? Nope. And we're starting to get pelted. The zombies are tossing meat. So why don't you guys start tossing ammo around? There we go. And this should be your last laser. Enjoy it while it lasts, buddy. Because it ain't lasting long. Night, night. That's another abomination down. Okay, well, since we're here, I'm a, I'm a victim of opportunity. I'm going to do this weapon stash contract. Then we'll go look for the obelisk. And the best part about these, we haven't even seen their full potential. I haven't used an ammo mod on this yet. We've only had elemental pop going off every once in a while. I've been saving these ammo mods till we can actually find the right obelisk for them. Oh, I'm getting cornered. Can I survive? Another test for these weapons? Yeah. Yeah, actually. We made it through. These things are armor slappers. Ain't that right, Mangler? I killed that Mangler so fast that zombie had his name tag on. He didn't know what to do. He tried to switch bodies. All right, now that that's over with, let's find those monoliths. And luckily, I saw this monolith earlier while we're fighting the Stormcaller. Let's go ahead and activate it. And this will be our first of three. Come on over, zombies. The fire's fine. And these last few kills should do it. There we go. Oh, the Unsteel Rift already opened up. Somebody already did two of them. You know what? Y'all can get it. You take the first one. 
I'll catch the next one down. That one's on the house. Unless, are they actually not going for it? Well, shit, dude. Say less. I will take that right now. Now, this has the potential to be a historic moment. These could be the first unofficial bullet weapons to actually make it through the unstable rift on their own. Like I said, I'm not going to use the scorcher in, unless I'm like literally on the brink of death. I will not use it if these cores are, are still putting up a fight. Oh, wait, hold on. After going to the unstable rift, it doesn't look like the aftermarket part's like working anymore. No, this can't be. There's no way. How could you do this to me, game? These are just normal cores now. Look how they massacred my boy. It's only shooting one shot now. It's not shooting when I release the trigger. Only when I pull it. Now I'm going to lose everything in this inventory, or at least on this operator. Not like I have a, a, lot, a whole lot of good stuff on me right now. We've been edged yet again cucked even they accidentally allow us to have an absolutely broken akimbo weapon and what do they do they take it away once we we want to try to take on the hardest challenge in the game quite unfortunate really sledgehammer's really laughing in my face right now they, they said you thought you're gonna have fun with these weapons you didn't think we knew about them guess what buddy you're fucked and here comes the first boss but i'm not even feeling motivated to kill him we didn't come in here to use these normal ass core 45s i wanted my broken akimbo build so you know what? Take me out. I'm done. I want to go back to tier three with these. I'll sacrifice this operator. I just want to go have fun with a broken gun while I can. Well, since they won't let us bring these into the unstable rift and probably won't let us bring it into the dark aether, let's take this for a spin against the red worm. See how these can do against that freak. And ammo shouldn't be an issue here because we got two ammo boxes placed right around the arena, but I'm sure I'll find a way to make it into an issue. And I also haven't fought this worm in a long time. And from my knowledge, I think you can only really solo him with the VR11 so we'll see how these can do come on out buddy how are these doing against you you liking these eh, we can already see his health ticking down we gotta be very vigilant and not let the orbs get us we don't need him healing and we're already out of ammo somehow holy shit these things are ammo eaters they are guzzlers but we do have a good amount of damage on them at least for these pistols let's keep racking them up Keep hitting his crit point. Come on. I really can't see anything. What happened? He pressed this gas mask against my face and gave me glaucoma. What are you doing? I'm not going underground. You can't do that. Breaking the rules. Oh, here he comes. All right, buddy. Why don't you calm down? Let's relax. We can all be friends here. Just as long as you're a friendly worm that's on the ground dead. After all the pain and suffering this worm has caused me throughout the years, or I guess the year, the least he can do is die to these pistols for me. And honestly, just be polite. And there he comes again. You cannot get a piece of this, buddy. This stick ain't free. You gotta pay the price, pal. I don't know if this is gonna be possible, to be honest. We got some decent damage on him, but we only got seven minutes just about to take him down. We need to play absolutely flawlessly. And he needs to get up from underground. What are you doing? Get over here. Oh, shit. This, all this stalling is starting to piss me off, worm. You're going underground. You're... you're throwing me into the air for long periods of time. Just say you're a coward and get over it. I'd understand. Probably feel better about it getting it off your chest or your worm. Do worms have chests? I don't know. Either way, fuck you. Don't care. Die. Oh no. I don't think we're getting enough of his health down. What a fucked up day. At least he hasn't knocked us yet. We're going ban for ban right now. And his pocket's looking weak. Oh, he cracked open his side. That's huge. Let me in there. Oh, what's not huge is running out of ammo right as the orbs are getting to me. And the final axe fill has showed up. Come on. Oh, I think there's just no way. You're a piece of shit, worm. What is he doing? I've never seen that attack before. I want to get a new move set. Oh, yeah. Go back underground. You vermin. At least it's still shredding through zombies. Got that going for it. Where even is final axe fill? Oh, way on the other side of the map. We might have to go down with the ship. I didn't even think it's spawning in zombies anymore. Oh, there they are. I thought he wanted a 1v1. Would have respected him more. We got him down to half health, though. The game just wants to cuck us one last time. Of course. Yeah, keep going underground. You're a huge bitch, worm. And that's not even hyperbole. Whatever that word is. Where are you going? Stop going underground, you coward. Might be the biggest bitch to ever live. I don't think you're ever beating the bitch allegations. Oh, you might actually get a knock out of me. Oh, actually, no, you're not. I dodged that. 
very skillfully. Definitely wasn't a coincidence that you just were uh, a foot ahead of me. Oh, this is so lame. I can't believe I'm getting big dog twice with a busted weapon. And I even know where my aether blade went. Oh, fuck you. I'm, I'm deep in your throat, worm. How you feel about that? I have a little surprise in there for you too. But we're out of time. We're out of luck. It's, it's so Jover. It's never been more Jover. We got a good amount of his health gone though with these pistols. So I, I, I'll take that as a W. From what little Ws we can get out of this. Oh, motherfuck. Of course. Ah, oh, we can still shoot you while I'm down. And there we go. Damn. So unfortunate. So overall review of the bugged Core 45s with the aftermarket part. It's pretty good, but it is not nearly as busted as I thought it would be. Like what's ha been happening with all these other guns, whether they meant to release them or have them usable or not. It seems like they're just not working as well in zombies as they are in other modes. Again, I would not recommend using these in other modes. I, 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 I do not advocate for that. You leave other players alone. Only use these against zombies and worms. But they were still pretty fun to use. They seem to shred through just about anything like zombie wise bosses they could still take them out but like i said it wasn't nearly as fast or like as busted as i thought it would be still it's a pretty goofy weapon and it's funny that they messed up the core 45 twice in a matter of weeks but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later